So this afternoon, we're gonna have some leftover veggie beef soup that I made a couple of weeks ago. It was so good, but I made a big pot of it. So that's what's for dinner at the Old Dude's World tonight. And I wanted some tea, some Southern sweet tea. And I thought I did a video, maybe I did a short, but anyway, for the people that don't know how to make Southern sweet tea, and I, I can't believe anybody doesn't, but if you don't, here's how I make mine. I'm gonna take a Lipton tea bag, six of them. I like strong tea, I, you know. If it's too strong, add a little bit of water to it. But you can't add, it's hard to add more strong flavor to it, but you can always dilute it down. So, what I've got here is my tea pitcher. And this is cold filtered water. Let me get over here to my pan. So I'm gonna pour this in here, about halfway. And when it gets back to uh, finishing making this, I'll pour it back in that same container. It's filtered cold water I've had in the fridge since yesterday. It makes wonderful Southern sweet tea. If you don't wanna make Southern sweet tea, this is a simple way just to make tea. Really good, strong tea. Like I say, if, it, if it's a little bit too strong for you, add a little bit of water to it in, in your glass and you can personalize it that way. So I've got my tea bags. I will not add them until it's, until it's almost boiling. And when it's almost boiling, I will put them in. I'll put a lid on it and I'll let it steep for 10 or 15 minutes. And I'll bring you back and then I'll pour it in this cold water. Well, let me back up. I'll pour it in this container that's got one cup of sugar in it and mix it around. And then I'll dump it into the ice cold water and uh, that cold water will set that sugar so it, it won't blend, bleed out or leach out or anything. It'll set it, it'll set the flavors in it. Uh, you can do this with just cold water or you can do it with ice water. As long as it's cold, it don't matter. Anyway, let me bring you back when this starts to come up to a rumble and be back with you in just a minute. All right, while that's coming up to temperature, I'm gonna slice me some lemon to go in my teeth. Let me get this down so you can see what I'm doing. I find it easy just to slice it lengthways, like this, and flip it over. Perfect little slices. This is perfect, perfect way. All right, she's getting ready to come to a boil. Let me get these in here. I just throw the whole thing in there. Don't worry about the little piece of paper. It's all paper anyway. And then I turn it off and you see it just went to a boil. You can already see it extracting the color out. I'm gonna cover this up and let her steep. All right, let's get to making some tea. It's been about 10 minutes. Let me get the camera down here. I'm standing up, so it's a it's a long ways down here. I'll show you what I do. And yes, you can use the pan that's got a lid, but this seals good. It worked good for my mother all those years. Why well, change it? Grab a fork. I'll try to get everything up in one little spot here. Let me get my tea over here so you can see what I'm gonna do here. Can you see that okay? I think you can. Yeah. Uh, 
just amazing I can see before I, I used to do this I always wonder was I hitting was I pouring it right because after before my cataract surgery I couldn't really see Squeeze out all the juice, all the goody out of it. And it's just simple just to stir it around. The sugar was in the bottom of it. You need to stir it for about a minute until it's dissolved. And I'm going to sit down. Ah. Goodness. Getting it stirred up here. Let me know how you make your. If you make sweet tea, what recipe do you use? I've heard of people putting baking soda, I think, into tea. I'm not sure really what that does. You know, I learned my mother and dad both made tea, so this is how they made it. And I grew up on it and I liked it, so I'm going to continue that tradition. It's all stirred up here. I've got the rest of my cold water. I'm gonna put it in here and it's gonna shock it. Stir that around. Oh, that, this would be so good. Wish you were here to smell of it. Wish you were here, I'd give you a glass. Let me see here, let me get my glass ready. Now, you know what this is? Yeah, <laughs> we still use uh, ice trays. Give me a little ice in here. I had an ice maker in this kitchen at one hand, time freestanding under the cabinet. He gave me trouble. It was always clogging up, getting the filters clogged up. I couldn't enjoy the ice out of it because I. So then we started buying ice. We have a big freezer, a walk-in freezer. Not a walk-in, but a stand-up freezer by itself. No refrigerator on it. It doesn't have an ice maker. And our refrigerator does not because we like the extra room. So, so we were buying ice. And uh, I thought, shoot, I've got these old trays up after years. So I'll just use them. So let me pour a glass here. Let's pour us a glass of sweet tea. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna put some lemon in here. I'm gonna use one of the little end pieces to sacrifice. Uh, I love using this. It, it gets the juice out of the skin. See, there's not a lot of juice into this and of course I'm going to take and drop it down in there and then I'm going to put my it's just warm sweet tea now on top of that ice oh man let's get fancy here chef it up She is, boys and girls. Southern sweet tea. So yummy, so good. Now I will store this back in this container that the water was in. The reason I store it in here is because I've got a lid that seals down tight. Keeps all the flavors in, keeps the other flavors out. There's some goodness right there. Southern sweet tea. Let's get a drink of this. Oh, it's perfect. Six tea bags, one cup of sugar. That is about almost a gallon of water. Depends on how sweet you want it. You might want to start out with a half a cup or no cup and make this regular iced tea. Uh, it's nice and clear. It's not cloudy. 
it will stay that way until it's gone. It, <laughs> that's a couple of days and it's gone. So it'll be great with our stew this evening. Uh, and uh, anyway, this is how I make my Southern sweet tea. If you're here, I'd serve you a big glass of it. Y'all have a great afternoon.